Today we're going to be going through the calibration procedure for Packmaster for 2019 software version 4.02.511 for X35 monitors. What we'll have to do is get it set up and ready to do calibration. So if you haven't already enabled the Packmaster, you'll have to go into Implement, Cedar, Drill Control, enable Liftmaster if it isn't and then you'll get the Packmaster tab and we can enable it as well. So once that is enabled, you will have to make sure it has the proper drive connected and that is uh, gone into detail in the drill control settings video. We also have to, before we calibrate, select our drill model so there's four possible models. Today we're going to be doing a 3320. So we'll select 3320 from the list. And then you'll see we need to select the opener type for this model. Uh, there's two types and we have an XTC opener that we're going to be calibrating. So we'll select it. So now we have everything in our settings so that we can actually perform a calibration. So we'll Go to our operating screen by pressing the running man. And then we'll have to have the configuration tab open. If it's not open, it's the wrench with the gear. And then we see Packmaster calibration on the bottom. So now it's going to enter the calibration steps. Uh, there's a couple things we're going to have to do. Make sure our packer wheel is blocked up off the ground so the opener cannot touch the ground. And then depending on the model of drill you have, you'll have to make sure the depth setting for the spindle you're calibrating is set to the right depth settings. The list is on this screen. The PHD is hole number eight. XTC, which is what we have, is set to hole number seven. And an independent Coulter drill is set to depth setting one with the walking axle free to move. So once you have your wheel blocked and everything is in place, your hydraulics engaged, you can now hit the yellow arrow and that's going to start the calibration procedure. So now what it's doing, it's doing a couple different set points. So we're going to do a low set point at 500 psi. Okay, so once it quits fluctuating, we'll go to the next screen shows a sensor load of 175 pounds at that 500 PSI setting. Now it's going to get the second set point, so it'll increase the hydraulic pressure to 1500 PSI. Once it quits fluctuating, the arrow will turn yellow, so it's ready to go to the next screen. It gives you the cal uh, value and your drive power. And it gives you that sensor load on the packer for 1500 PSI. Go to the next screen and the calibration is complete. At this point you can erase the drill, remove your block and put the depth setting back to the position that it was in before. Go back into the settings page where we were. We'll open it back up and you'll see all the number of things that have come in here now that minimum sensor load, the maximum sensor load, our min cal value, our max cal value. There's a spot on your quick reference card where you can actually write those numbers down and if you had to change a spindle or if you changed profiles at some time you could put those numbers back in and not have to recalibrate this machine. Mm -hmm.